The new gloves are out guys, of course I made them, I managed to make them Eternal 1 and Void 2, but should you do the same, are they better than Void? I tested them in Ender's Echo, as you can see SS Glows did better, only in one run I had a better NG. In the Clan Expedition when I was using Void Glows I managed to get 54 medals, by the way in Timed Master difficulty. When I switched to SS Glows I managed to get 57 medals and 3 medals more. So looks like that SS Glows are the best now, but maybe they are not? For some of my clanmates, they didn't break well here in the same Astral Watch level. And it surprised me guys, till I saw this calculator, this amazing calculator for glows. Thanks to it, you can compare Eternal Void and SS Glows. For Void Glows, you just need to put if you have or don't have this collectible 5 yellow stars. In case with SS Glows, you will need to show your Astral Forge level, for example mine is Eternal 1 and Void 2. About Eternal Laser, all depends on what kind of the boss you have. If it's not flying, if it's not going underground like this one, then take it into account. Surprising for me, the laser does significant damage. After the glows, you need to put your stats but only external, do not count stats from the glows. For example, do not add 30% to crit rate from SS glows. The same situation with crit damage. Also you should count it by yourself, you can do it from this list. For skill damage, unfortunately we don't have any lists. Skill damage we have for example in Twinlands. This talent gives increase in skill damage. Check your pets and so on. And the same situation with the shield damage. That's how you can check if SS glows are first or not first to make. The link on this amazing calculator I will leave in the description and comments of this video. In comments let me know what you think about the new glows. Subscribe my channel and would be great if you will like this video, because it helps me to make better content for you.